Today's little video is 100% spontaneous, 100% off the cusp, so I hope you guys don't mind. But basically what we're gonna cover is I'm gonna show you how I got organized from last year, how I'm getting organized for this year, and what my three biggest, bestest study tips are. And I was also just thinking, I'm looking at all my notes on the immune system that I took from last year. These are like my final official professionalized notes with cartoons included. I'm gonna post these on my website, nutritionbyelsa.com. If you guys can actually make sense of what the hell is going on here, then these notes are yours. Go over to nutritionbalsa.com and I don't know, download them, read them over, try to decipher them and enjoy them. Go to my website, check that out. And if you're a student studying or you care about brain health and organization and succeeding, in this video, I'm gonna share with you my biggest, bestest tips for getting 100% in everything, even though I don't actually get 100% in everything, that's still my goal. So I'm gonna share my best tips that help me succeed the most in school and academia and by the way that totally is toilet paper there in the background so just ignore it but we ran out and i had to get groceries this morning and i haven't organized anything because we're moving i'm trying to organize for school and i'm trying to pack everything's messy so if you see messy stuff in the background please just ignore it i promise i don't actually live like this let me start by showing you what i did last term i have all my binders out ah my bracelet got caught i'm in my pajamas doing this because it's like seven in the morning so yeah this is a huge mess these are all my binders right now. I'm transferring everything into this giant binder. This is how I kind of kept my notes for my biochem course. Any facts or figures or diagrams I put in like this little plastic sleeve. So this whole thing is like full of my notes on like fatty acid metabolism and gluconeogenesis. Um, and I use a bunch of colors. When I write things, colors are a really good idea to make it actually look nice. And I don't know if it's actually gonna help your memory. Evidently blue ink helps your memory more and red ink is more likely to cause stress or anxiety or spike your cortisol when you're learning. I I use pink, orange, and brown because I just like the way the colors look and it makes me happy, so I think that helps. Now, everything from last year is going into this binder and I'm using these thingies to separate everything by course. So that way, because like my anatomy and physiology class, for example, we literally covered like every organ in the human body, liver, brain, hormones, detox, eyeballs, literally everything in the human body we covered in that course. And I'm taking more biology and more biochemistry next year, this year. And so I know these anatomy and physiology notes, like literally about how the whole entire human body works is gonna help. So that all goes in here. These are all my anatomy and physiology notes. Here, this is literally, this is not even all my biochem notes because I'm still filling up the binder. Also, you wanna make a thing to put your old exams in. This is one of my old exams from biochemistry. It was a pretty hefty exam. So I'm keeping that, putting it in here because you wanna always do your practice exams. If your teacher gives you a practice exam, do the practice exam and do it until you get 100%. Do it the first time, don't look at the answer key, don't even open up the answer key, just do the practice exam first as if you're in a real exam, check the answers over, go to office hours and ask your teacher like, why did I get this wrong? What am I doing wrong? Once they help you, do the practice exam again and again until you get 100%. And do that with your homework too. Do it over and over again until you get 100% and that is how you're gonna get 100% on your final exam. Trust me, it's the best strategy. Okay, anyways, this is like my whole entire collection of carbohydrate metabolism, gluconeogenesis, tricarboxylic acid cycle, ATP synthesis, and these are all going in their own thing because these are my teacher's notes, not my notes. So I'm gonna keep them separate from my stuff so I know where I can get like more professional information. The next literally essential step, get yourself organized and get um, a planner or a binder. This is my kind of ugly, I don't really like it, but it's lightweight because this was mine from last year and it was big and freaking chunky and heavy and it was a pain in the ass to carry around everywhere. But it kept me really organized and I was able to track my goals and track like everything that I had to do for studying. It looks like a mess. This only makes sense to me, but I'll show you what it looks like anyways. And you can see like I've written down everything I need to do, everything that's important I've circled, and then once I do it, I take it off, take it off, take it off. I guess I was kind of lazy on Sunday because I didn't do what I wanted to do. Oopsies. And then this is my one from this term. You can note like what you need to do and then you can put your goals and draw a freaking smiley face when you smash your goals right in here, which is always a good idea to do. These last two study tips are these study tips. 
you just take take a piece of paper this is a piece of paper and you just write down all your notes don't worry about them being good notes don't worry about like these these are your first draft notes this is where you're thinking and processing information and this is where you're like working out the fine details trying to understand what is actually going on once you have a better grip on things get out your nice colored pens and get out like this long skinny piece of paper and this whole thing comes dedicated to that one lecture or to that one week or to that one topic. And these are like your professional, finalized, highly detailed notes that you've created once you actually understand what you're talking about. Because if you make one draft of notes that are just from the first time you study it, first of all, your understanding is not gonna be very good. And then you also press the pause on your learning because you're finished your notes. This is your complete version. But the problem is you've only reviewed the lesson once and you're probably not gonna review it again. So you're not cementing any information or you're not cementing these ideas that you've learned in your brain. So this is everything we covered on immunology. You can see like the little germ I covered. Oh no, that's a, that's a white blood cell or a macrophage um um immunoglobulin anyways this is some type of immune cell these are some of your immune cells this is how your immune system works and i can go right to here and have every detail i need to know it's upside down every detail i need to know on the immune system is right here and i've color coded it so i know right here we're talking about t cells here's b cells and then this is your lymphatic system here drawings help too here's like another one there's a bone there's your blood and these are white blood cells so i know this is talking about blood cells in general and how they're being synthesized you you're gonna have your messy notes and you're gonna have your official notes and keep your official notes organized and tidy and in one place because if you're ever like really struggling to figure anything out or you're really behind on a topic this is like, this is like your dictionary. This is your glossary. This is where you go when you need to know, like you just need to know, you just need to access that information super fast. This is like your one place. Next, this is my second, hold on a minute. This is my second biggest best tip. Cue cards, like make cue cards like it is nobody else's business. And I think actually the more cue cards you have, the better it is for your educational outcome because if you only have a few cue cards, there's a bit of pattern recognition, like you know what cue card's gonna come next. If you, get, if you have a bunch of cue cards, like a big fat stack of cue cards, like I do, you have no idea what card's gonna come next. So now you really have to be better at relying upon your brain to figure out what is going on on the other side of the card or like what it is you're talking about. By the way, these are amino acids. Um, no, these aren't amino acids. This is, these are the three irreversible steps of the tricarboxylic acid cycle. This is referring to alpha ketoglutarate when we do, uh, I don't remember what molecules these are. Acetyl-CoA and citrate to make citrate I'm screwing this up. I haven't done this in forever, but these are the three irreversible steps of the tricarboxylic acid cycle. And then I'm talking about what's going on on the back. And those notes, that cue card was right beside the electron transport chain. By the way, if you've ever heard of CoQ10 supplements for better energy, this is CoQ10, QH2. Same, it's the exact same molecule, just a different name. So CoQ10, QH2 sits in your mitochondrial membrane and it basically helps your body move electrons through these little blobs so you can finally make energy right here because if the electrons don't move through here, then the hydrogen doesn't move up here, which means that the hydrogen can't get pushed through here and this doesn't spin and this will never make ATP. So if none of that made sense, just Google tricarboxylic acid cycle and electron transport chain and hopefully that will make sense to you. Here, here's another one. These are, what even is going on here? I'm gonna skip this one because I'll have to review it because I don't remember. Biggest tip for making cue cards, do not make messy cue cards. Make your cue cards when you know that you know what's going on. Because the last thing you want to do is study cue card over and over and over again 
and have the information you put down be absolute shit because cue cards are a memorization tool and you don't want to be memorizing your shitty notes. Make your cue cards really good and make them work for you. Like, I don't think this stuff is going to make sense to anybody else other than me, but I don't really care because these are my cue cards for my studying and my brain. In summary, my three biggest bestest study tips are make a freaking Bible for yourself. Finalize your notes, make them colorful because this is going to be your go-to source where you have all the information you need to know all in one place and add drawings and smiley faces to make it like a pleasurable, enjoyable experience so studying doesn't suck. Secondly, make a fat stack of cue cards and only make your cue cards when you know you know what you know. So you don't want shitty cue cards because then you're going to be memorizing your own shitty incorrect information and you're probably not going to do very well in school that way. This is your cue card stack. And get yourself colors. My sister has a bunch of makeup bags so I kind of steal her makeup bags and I just like keep my cue cards for each course in there. A little makeup bag that says sealed with a kiss on it. This is what we're working with right now. This is what you don't want your desk to look like when you're studying. And this is what you do want your desk to look like when you're studying. You want it to be covered in these beautiful, bright, colorful freaking notes because that is how you're going to get 100% in every single course. And we're going to get 100% in every single course together. Thank you so kindly for watching this whole entire vlog. Even though it was all over the place, um, I want to let you know what my future plans are with this YouTube channel and for keeping you updated with what I'm learning. So basically this year, every week or every other week, I'm gonna make a YouTube video summarizing like everything I learned in food science, nutrition, biochemistry, biology, whatever. It's just gonna be a weekly summary, a weekly update of everything that I learned because so much of what I post on Instagram is informed by what I learn in university. By the way, I go to UBC and that's literally, oh no, that is literally where my school is over there here's me chilling on the deck here's my school that's where i'm gonna be in like a week so every week it'll be a video summarizing what i learned and that's gonna be really helpful for you guys to continue getting educated with me because as i learn more the stuff that i'm able to talk about and write about or create literal books and guides about is gonna advance and if you guys want to catch up with me and accelerate your brains and your bodies and your skin and your guts and whatever if you want to get healthy with me Follow along my vlogs here where I'm summarizing what I'm learning in school. Buy my book, The Glow Formula. You can read my story, get my personalized nutrition workbook, and understand everything you need to know to cover your bases in terms of education on fats, fats, what they're doing for your brain, seed oils, their role in inflammation, and then when things go horribly wrong, sugar, protein, protein powder, all that stuff. You can also check out my charcuterie guide that is just laying out the facts on what you can eat for brain health, skin health, and how liver detox actually works. And then what these specific nutrients like sulforaphanes or the B vitamins, what their roles are in liver detox. And then you get 23 charcuterie recipes all in there as well. I hope you like this video. Check out my website, nutritionmelsa.com or um, yeah, just check out the website. Love you all. Have a good day. Mwah.